Hello everybody and welcome to another class of Science Wednesday featuring the topic of viruses. So Elska, do you remember what we saw in the last class? I do remember. Mm -hmm. uh, we talked about viruses, about what a virus is and we discovered that a virus is actually just a piece of genetic material in a box. And it is also, it's not alive and it needs other uh, cells to be able to replicate. What do we already know? A virus is a piece of genetic material in a protein box. A virus is not alive. Viruses need to use cells to duplicate. Very, 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 very well said, Elska. That's exactly what we saw. And we also, if you remember, saw that a part of one kind of box, we can have different kind of boxes, different kind of material inside, what give us different kind of viruses. So what we are going to do today is to go a little bit deeper in the different kinds of viruses that we can find. We can categorize viruses according to different criteria, according to their shape, according to their genetic material, according to whether or not they have a cover made out of fats, or according to their hosts, that is, the kind of living creatures that they can infect. Let's start with the shape. Some viruses look like a cylinder made with a spiral. These are called helicoidal or helical. Some others have a box that is completely closed and made out of flat pieces. These are called icosaedric. Some other viruses are more complex and are formed of pieces that mix the other two types. According to the genetic material that they have inside, we have two options. Either they have DNA, that we have already seen, and it's for of two branches of information, or they have a simpler version called RNA, that is only one of the branches. Some viruses are formed only by their genetic material and the box that is protecting it. These ones are naked because they have no cover. However, some viruses cover themselves in a layer of fats that protects them. These ones are covered. Finally, according to the host, we can group them depending on what kind of things they can infect, either bacteria, plants, animals or humans. These ones, the complex ones, can only infect bacteria while the ones that look like a cylinder and have no cover only infect plants. Other viruses like the flu that look like one of these only infect animals or humans. So Alaska, did you get it? I think More I did. More or less. <laughs> okay, so for example, if I take out a virus like this one, could you tell me what kind of virus is it? So what I can see is that it's not covered, so it doesn't have the fats on the outside. Mm -hmm. And also, the shape of this is only for plants, because the shape is like a cylinder. Uh -huh. And we saw that the, the cylinder ones are always viruses for plants. That's what I think. Oh, very well. I'll scan and put the virus down. Exactly, that's what we see. Uh, According to the kind of uh, material that we have inside, we cannot say much because we cannot see it inside. What did we learn today? There are different types of viruses. According to their shape, we have helical ones that look like cylinders, icosaedric ones that look like closed boxes, and complex ones that combine both of these. According to their genetic material, we have viruses that have DNA, and we have viruses that have RNA. According to their cover, some viruses are naked and have nothing around them, while others are covered with an outside layer of fats. Finally, according to the host, each virus is prepared to infect different kinds of living creatures. Some of them infect bacteria, some others infect plants, and some others are prepared to infect animals or even humans. Then we're finished to, for today. We hope to see all your feedback, as always, and see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.